up until today i have actually never really understood why i always struggle making this snack i really really love puff puffs but i have always struggled making them and thank god i finally hacked it and this is how i did it for the ingredients i used three cups of all-purpose baking flour a quarter cup of sugar half a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of yeast and one teaspoon of cinnamon powder mix all the dry ingredients together I added one egg but this is optional I only did so just to make it a little bit more rich So now I'm going to be adding a cup of warm milk gradually until the dough is wet and runny. You're going to need to be careful not to make it too runny and also not too thick. So make sure you're adding the milk little by little. Milk is also optional. You can also use plain warm water. The beauty of cooking puff puffs is that there are so many ways to flavor it. You can choose to make a rich dough just like I have done. You can also choose to use uh, cinnamon powder. You can use vanilla essence. You can also use pepper and so on and so forth. I'm using a whisk to whip the butter so that it can blend into a nice soft consistency. Then I used a spatula to lick the sides of the bowl just to bring in the dough together. Now it's time to proof the dough. We are going to let it sit for about 45 minutes. But first I'm going to cover it with a cling film to make it airtight. And then I'll also cover it with a clean kitchen towel and set it aside in a warm place. It's now 45 minutes and the dough has proofed and doubled in size so uh, we are ready to start cooking. I'm just going to let out all the excess air and I'll do that by kneading some more. Uh, this time I'm going to be kneading using my hands, yeah? So make sure your hands are clean and sanitized because the next step is about to get a little bit messy. Now, the next step has always been tedious and hard for beginners, me included. So I went over to Cooking with Effia's channel to find out the tricks and the ways to conquer this step. Now basically what you do is grab the dough with the palm of your hands, then let the consistency drop and then pull it up, drop and pull it up. And this is going to form a smooth round end. And once it's settled well inside your palm, you're going to drop it through the opening where your index finger and thumb meet. And to drop it in the oil, you'll use your thumb to push it down. Now just to recap that, you first squeeze the dough using your palm and fingers and then drop it down using your thumb. It's as simple as that. Now once I hacked this technique, everything else was easy peasy, all thanks to cooking with Effia. Yeah guys, go check out her channel, uh, she does amazing recipes, particularly mostly West African dishes. Now keep turning the puff puffs as they deep fry in the hot oil until they are all golden brown on all sides. And now we are going to take them out and we are going to take them out as we drain all the excess oil. And we are going to place them in a bowl that is lined with some paper towels. Now here we go, as you can see the puff puffs are ready, they are, look so delicious, golden brown and they are so yummy, so soft inside also. Now find your flavor and cook yourself some amazing puff puff snacks. 
thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and like the video thanks for watching see you next time